his wife. And at the end of the day, if he goes down, she goes down on that. As far as the allegation, do I believe there are 35 women that they have sexually assaulted or taken advantage of in serious trouble for these allegations? Like R. Kelly stuff started on social media. Bill Cosby stuff started on social media. And look at where they at now. Like, they both can get in a lot of trouble. And I know a lot of people been on the shade room all day. Y'all ain't commenting. Y'all ain't commenting. And I With a bob and all. Hey, girl. Hey. Welcome back. I know it's been a hot little bit, y'all. And as always, don't mind me because I've got it set up now to where my um, camera is hooked up to my TV. So if you see me veering over to the left a little bit, don't mind me. I'm going to try to keep this front and center, y'all. Uh, but today, we are back. Happy New Year. This will be, is this my first video of the New Year? I think it is. So, what's up, y'all? Might I just say, my numbers are steady rising. And I appreciate y'all for tuning in with me, subscribing, commenting on my channel. It really means the world to me because, you know, I dip in and dip out of YouTube all the time. So the fact that y'all just genuinely is liking me and I'm almost at 100 subs, like, grateful. Okay, but today, honey, we are going to be doing this freaking video. It is so much going on in the world right now and I normally don't comment on all of it. But baby, this tea is too hot not to. So... Of course, of course, of course, of course. It's all over everybody's feed. It's all over everybody's stories. Tia and Tiny, are they the new R. Kelly? I think not. And I'm going to tell y'all why because this is just, this is just, I just, I just, uh, I just don't know. So I got my, I got my drink here. That's good. It's kind of thick though. Y'all, I was so sad. I went to put some ice in here and I ain't had no ice. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be sipping on my tea. Eating my very own, you know. Hold on. I got it in my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm there. But, yeah. You know my hot punch girls, baby. We're gonna get into it. So I'm filming off my camera today. Oh no. Baby. Okay. Let me set my camera, my mirror up so I'm making sure. Gotta look presentable at all times. See y'all like the bob. Y'all, I got some color. But y'all, can y'all see that? Lace wear. Lace who? I was just playing. This is a beauty supply store here, though. I paid $60 for it. And I think it looks well, might I say. But we're going to go up to the shade room. And to be fair, y'all, I only know not much about this. Um, I tried to be transparent. I really don't. I really didn't want no parts of it, if I'm really being honest. But it's just been all over the place today. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Virginia starts to make her coming soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go all the way back. I've been trying to read a little bit to familiarize myself um this morning before making this video, so I'm not coming in completely blind so you know where my heart is at. And first of all, I just wanna put this little disclaimer out there. Whether it's true or not, like, my heart truly breaks for the children in this. Even though they're not, I mean, he does have a daughter. She's, like, what, at three? Um, but the fact is, like, Zomit just had a baby. Um, you know, Deja had her situation. It's just, it's just 
too many like they got so many kids and like if these accusations are true or turns out to be true like the devastation in that household will be mind-blowing and i wouldn't wish that on nobody i wouldn't want to be a part of that um so i'm definitely not gonna aid in that um i'm just gonna report on what i see and then i'm gonna ask some some razzle dazzle um tidbit facts into it but let's start off with the background so apparently this person is her name is sabrina yes sabrina was apparently a friend of I'm guessing Tiny's first. I'm assuming she was Tiny's friend first based off how all this stuff came to unfold. So basically the other day Sabrina had made a post or whatever that really just, it just went, you know when Shay Room get a hold of something, something just goes from zero to 1000 real quick and I really think that's what happened in this scenario. So Sabrina had made a post or whatever. Um, Saying that T.I. had put a gun to her head in the past. I don't know if she really specified. Let me see. I don't know if she really specified back then if it was in the past. But now we know that, you know, she said this was a long time ago. So, question number one. Why is it coming up now if it was a long time ago? And I know she said, you know, she could have been out of him. She could have been. She could have been. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. It could, you should have left it to yourself, honey. It, it could have stayed to yourself. Like, it just came from out of nowhere. Like, nobody, nobody came for you. That I recall. So, anywho, she made the post or whatever. Tiny commented and was like, you know, hon, I thought my, I thought my husband was like your child's uncle. So... When did it go from being uncle to now he's just like awful person who holds guns to women's heads, threatening them to kill them? Like, basically, Tiny called the lady crazy. She said, "Find you somebody else to play with." Period. Find you, find you somebody else to play with. So then I guess Sabrina comes back and she's like, um, "You know how they always do once you get a little comment." Or whatever they be like oh I can pull up I can pull up all the facts I can pull up everything I tell you blah 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 so that's really how all this came to be was Sabrina dropped the little gym over here time was like eh, girl keep that over there like leave it over there and then she was just like baby I got Pandora's box ready to open and she did she opened Pandora's box but what kind of is helping her open Pandora's box with Shekinah. And everybody knows Shekinah, Shekinah. Oh my goodness. I don't think she meant to do that live. It, it kind of looked like she may have been under the influence or, you know, just riled up in that moment. But everybody's using Shekinah's words to kind of uh, confirm Sabrina's story, right? So I'm going to go in and read some of these screenshots. I haven't read them all. But this is, I don't know, I just, I just, I'm just on like the, um, the what's the name, you know, whatever. Like the hashtag Sabrina. I'm going to hurt hashtag. So this one says the next victim's story is going to blow your mind. And let me see if I can read this. She said, okay, but... I haven't, I was around them for about two years. I've seen it all. Sabrina said, wow, are you traumatized by it? She said, I knew this was going to eventually happen. I'm honestly glad you're doing it. I wouldn't so much crazy. Things that have scared me. I have neurological issues from the heavy molly use while well around them. Will you interview for the documentary? It's all in no faces. What you're doing will save someone's life. Yes, I will not intimately, but I can't ever have them find out it was me. Um, then she said another victim. Okay, here's one. So, she said, thank you for giving me the strength. Okay, I was born in Jamaica, grew up in Brooklyn, New York. It's blanked out. Somebody in 2006 bought a mansion in Atlanta and I was supposed to move in with her, but did not. In 2011, I was 28, decided it's time to move to Atlanta with my cousin. Just so happened, Tiny and T.I. live a couple houses over back. I read this one before. Um, then on, 
Then I was known as blank working name. I was an escort stripper 2013. When I was 30, I met T.I. He invited to a party with him and his wife for payment. We sniffed, had a good time. When, he, when me and T.I. seemed to be enjoying each other's company, Tiny got jealous, hit me, told me I was disrespecting her. T.I. was enjoying me too much when I defended myself against her. T.I. jumped in and punched me and face choked me out. When I was starting to tell because I was young, stupid, I told too much of my business. It was used against me. I was told if you tell B, if we know people, we know people, you and whoever in your family will be deported because I had no papers. At the time, immigrant after that, returned to my cousin's house, packed my F up. Left Atlanta never spoke to my cousin again because I was afraid to tell anyone. Came back to New York, changed my life, and just pretended it never happened. Who's going to believe me that I had a threesome with T.I. and Tiny? Was too high, got jealous, and attacked me. And when I defended myself, T.I. jumped in and helped her. It attacked me when I was starting to the point. I was in fear. I left my I left Atlanta and never looked back. P.S. My cousin still lived near then. Y'all, I need to sit. No, I didn't want that one wasn't enough. Still wasn't enough because, baby, we got a lot of stories. Apparently, it's like dirty. Whoo! Okay, so in her story, and y'all, definitely not reading 30 stories. Sorry, can't do it. Cannot do it. This video will be like hours. Um, but basically, the gist of her story is. She moved here, went to her cousin's house, boom, met T.I. and Tiny. They were supposed to be hooking up threesome. What happens when a threesome goes wrong? Somebody gets jealous. Well, that somebody was Tiny. She got jealous. Words were exchanged. Fists were thrown. So, in that one story alone, there was no rape allegations. There was nothing non-consensual that happened, apparently. Um... But in there was abuse allegations. T.I. was physical. Tiny was physical. That's not terrible to believe. You know, everybody has a physical aspect to them. Like, we can all get physical. And I mean, you know. What, 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 whatever. Like, T.I. punched the girl. Now, with this story, and that, let's make something clear. I'm not going to victim shame nobody. I don't really want to depict. First of all, I'm not even going to depict their language because, first of all, I said depict. That's not even a word. Depict their stories. And um, I'm going to try to refrain from doing that because it's one thing to come out and tell your side and then nobody believes you, which is basically what she said was she didn't think nobody would believe her from the jump. So... That's why she just went on about her merry way. But also the language that they use. Um, baby girl, I'm going to try to not comment on that either. So if y'all see me struggling to read some of these stories, baby, it's not me. It's the words that were struggling. But anywho, was her story just too left field to believe? No. She said 2000. And I want to cross fact check some of this. So I'm going to Google right now. When did T.I. go to jail? Because... This, I feel like this is an important, important story. Okay, so in 2010 is what Google says. It says on September 1st, um, he was sent to a store 11 months. I can't believe it was 11 months. I really thought it was longer than that. Whatever. So this all is apparently happening. After T.I. got out of jail, you know, now that I know that, it kind of, <sighs> it's kind of making my it, my wig itch a little bit because I feel like from everybody's perspective, right, T.I. found himself in jail. So the fact that he would go to jail for 11 months and then come out and do all this wild behavior has my 
believable radar is sitting at like a 30% like I just I don't feel like you know and I work in correction so I know the turnover rate of you know somebody getting out and coming back in and all of that stuff but it's just like mm, the fact that he waited till he got out of jail to do all this stuff is just mm, wasn't he on probation or how he was on house arrest. Let me see. Did he get on house arrest? Was T.I. on house arrest? Released. Let's see. Okay, because he was released early. I'm going to read this story real quick. Let's see. He has to report to a halfway house in Atlanta sometime this evening. He was supposed to spend two, three months in the halfway house. Mm. So, I, I guess he was never on house arrest. He was just had to be at the house. Halfway house. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, this see this is this adding a little spice to the story. Okay, we're gonna get another story in here and then I'm a I'm a I'm gonna add some old context. Kidnapping story from a neighbor. Ooh, this should be good. Let me take a step. Y'all no, gotta bust up my chips. I wish babe would have joined me. It probably would be good to have um a male's perspective but he don't know nothing which I don't know nothing either I'm just in here talking but I like to talk he don't really like to talk that much okay so it says yes it is true years ago Tian Tiny kicked in my next door neighbor's door and beat and kidnapped her husband we found her kids in the closet the police was called we gave a statement they that stated his name and a guy that was from the apartment's name quick. It was like 3 o'clock in the evening so we could see him clear as day. These people still suffer to this day. You can post my DM. I am not afraid of the truth. I don't know what he gave them. They left for a few months and came back and moved again. She was turned at least three times before she never did. So. Now this story. This story should be traceable, right? Because she says that a filed a police report. Police reports are traceable. So, so let's drop a name. Drop a officer. Drop a time, date, address. Some of that's traceable. Okay? Because if your story is correct, if you gave his name, he should have been charged. Like, I don't think, I don't think this story runs so deep that Police was just turning blind eyes to somebody getting jumped in front of their kids in their house with neighbors around. Like, I just don't think, I don't think that's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible. I just say it's not plausible. To me, at least. To me. I don't think it's plausible. But, you know, to each his own. So... I'm gonna need sis who sent this DM. I'm gonna need her to drop some more facts because at this point, sis, you say he <laughs> running up in that thing like Rashad or something. Like, yeah, I'm gonna just leave that one at that because, who? And then Sabrina posted, I was speaking about my own experience and I didn't know it would open up this level of pain and how much they have done to our community. Which, that's a funny statement, you know. Which is why I'm just like, a little bit over here like, mm. <sighs> Because T.I. speaks out a lot. A lot of people look to T.I. as some sort of leader in the community. Am I one of those people? Hell no. But some people do like, you know, I'll go to his page. I think I do follow him on Instagram. But am I one to just like, oh my gosh, T.I., what shall we do about this crisis? Fuck no. Hell no. And if y'all, y'all like that, that's cool. That's good for y'all. But I 
ain't one of them people. So that's why I feel like I ain't got time to, I ain't trying to pretend nobody in this. I'm just <laughs> get my CSI, FBI investigation skills on right now to see what's the bottom line. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Some more contact. She said, I don't know who this is. The fun fact, I met Trouble Man T.I. almost 16 years ago. Next month here in Colorado for the All-Star Weekend. We ended up lost backstage at the free concert he gave at Nike Town VIP and stage where upstairs the crowd was downstairs. This was my B-Day weekend. I was 16. My best friend was 15. We were pressured for sex and to take drugs even with him and his team normally were underage. Why didn't it, why didn't we ever say anything because we were young, underage, you were a superstar dropping in our little town. We weren't supposed to be there, so we internalized and it was it was our fault. No, we didn't do the drugs, nor did we stay around to get raped. We were smart and we got away, but tiny you shouldn't speak for a man whose actions have destroyed and harmed so many. Um then she thanked Sabrina. She said, I've met a few celebrities over the years and have almost raped, have been raped by them or their team regularly. I'm glad we are no longer idolizing them, these men, and calling them out for who they are. And I'm going to just stop it right there. First of all, I commend her. Because first of all, she said, she got, she, <laughs> she got little. Cool. Is this something that's reoccurring in the music industry? 90% sure that it is. Like, nobody believes that it is. And if you do, I think you live under a rock because when you get to a certain status of that magnitude, I feel like a lot of them believe that things are theirs to take. Whether you offer it or not, I feel like they do expect it because of their name um because of their their social status their money their bank accounts whatever the case may be maybe i do feel as though you know they do expect people to fall at their knees and a lot of these girls will do just that and a lot of them if i keep on reading did just that for the money like three thousand four a night baby girl um, I work and safe to say, I don't think a lot of people make 3000 a month. Now, I'm not one of those people, but a lot of people don't. So, I can see why somebody would put themselves in a situation to be got. Um, but luckily for this girl, she wasn't. And, I don't know, time for another Google search. Because she said this was 16 years ago. So, how old is T.I.? T.I. is 40, so 16 years minus 40. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. So he would have been 24. Still young. Um, Doesn't make it right, but sis, we just going to thank the Lord that you got ASAP. a warning to like all you little fast little girls who want to be on Instagram at 14 and 15 sit down like sit <coughs> oh sorry that salt went down my throat wrong sit sit down because you could be put in a situation that you can't get out of and and that would have been a different type of story so y'all need to be mindful of the things that y'all post and y'all allow the world to see because baby some people ain't gonna be so nice and so lucky to get away i know a lot of people who wasn't so nice but <coughs> were so lucky to get away <coughs> anyways let's start with another story it says hi i'm scared to speak my truth i met them at 20, was kind of flattered they wanted me, but it was Tiny who sent someone to me that they had so many drugs, I took it like a jackass, and they wouldn't stop. I witnessed them, him, I don't know, have sex with other celebrity men, women all ages, I watched him beat her. They throw money to keep you quiet after he threw 
with you she wants him to herself i'm convinced she doesn't like to have sex with him everybody around thinks it's normal the porn the sex toys drugs i call underage i've literally warned younger girls to run before they even enter the devil it's definitely present in those orgies the goal is to suck the innocence out of you to see him so protective over his daughter sickens me because he would destroy i left never being the same my connection with god allowed me to escape and stay away no matter how high i got it hundreds of us it's disgusting um she said it really messed her up for years the images the way i was supposed to be treated i guess my luck he ended up fighting her they need to be exposed as to how to sit there big homes and ruin lives they rape girls with toys so they high um the girls are so they rape girls with toys so they so high they couldn't keep their heads up i say Dead bodies how I seen, but saying everybody was a victim, but they knew young girls were starstruck. This makes me want. What you mean dead bodies? The girls were so high, it seemed like they were dead. They were, they were limp out their bodies. Last a couple years ago, at least 2013, I'm going on live. I saw Tiny have sex with his friends. You aren't lying. This is very true. Okay, look, look, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Keep the ball. Now, let's get this on record. You're listening. RTI and Tiny Swingers. Yes. Yes, they are. Anybody who says no, sweetie, you're lying to yourself. yourself. And I'll wait for you to catch up. There's no doubt in my mind that both of them mess around on each other. At one point, they was broken up, almost about to get a divorce. But they've been together for like a long, a long, long, long time. So, at this point, yeah, they probably sleep with. That's them. That's their business. But some of us, the I don't know if I'm gonna have time to. Um, but yeah, I do think that, you know, they, they, they probably entangle in some drugs. Of course. Hmm. T.I. back then and T.I. not now and Tiny back then and Tiny now, they look like two completely different persons or people, whatever. Are they probably clean now? Yes, I believe so. Maybe smoke a little weed. But clean on um, all these heavy molly, whatever drugs they had all these girls doing back then. I would like to think that they are. Not saying that they are. I would like to think that they are. Um, just by the difference, you know. Of, of the uh, appearance. Now, what did this girl say? I forgot what she said, honestly. Mm. Oh, he, she said he be beating on her. I don't know. Baby, if he do, she ain't never leaked them photos. And that's and that's what that's one thing. Well, all these people that I'm just like, hmm. Cause back then social media wasn't that big. But then again, it was starting to pick up. So I'm sure if you met T.I. and Tiny and they wanted a threesome, some way, somehow, you was going to document this. Whether it's a text message, a souvenir, a bank statement. I don't know. I feel like there should be some type of track record. I mean, that some of them said they got paid in cash, whatever. But I'm waiting on like a, a tell-all. Like, I need... And there's no way to verify this, but, you know, Sabrina was like, I'm waiting on a lie detector test. Cool. Take the lie detector test. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean all 35 of these people aren't lying. And I do believe that some of them are telling the truth. However, I also believe that some others are just want to be a part of whatever history that they think is coming up. 
to be involved in something that brings down T.I. in time. Whatever it is. Surviving. Like, they want to be on the next big thing because all those girls who were on Surviving R. Kelly, you know, they told their stories. And now that he's in jail, they some of them went on to do more TV shows, promote other things. And I'm not saying, you know, their trauma wasn't real. Definitely was. But what I'm saying is, all these girls here, the, I feel like the difference between T.I. and R. Kelly was the fact that everybody always knew R. Kelly was a little suspect. Like, this was nothing new. The matter is, I was on a roll. Y'all, I was on a roll. And I don't even know where I left off. So, anyways. <clears throat> like I was going to say. If they, you know, I re recalled, I don't know if I caught this on recording or not, but they used to have a TV show back in the day. And in fact, they had several TV shows back in the day. And I know you get off time where the crew's not around and stuff like that, but the amount of people who saying they did this and the type of places they said they met then is just making it a little bit, just a little bit. Um, harder to believe some of these stories because baby you would have to be quite the master to accomplish all these things in such a short period of time because and then that's what I'm saying they had TV shows back then they don't even have a TV show now like y'all could have ruined their life back then when they probably had a lot more money than they do now Right. let's continue now y'all know who I am curious to hear from is Iggy she had posted let me see if I can find her post cause it was it could have been a little shady. Um, she posted, Women tiptoe around in life protecting our abusers because we don't want to have to deal with being harassed for being harassed. How wild is that to really think about? How, how wild is that, Iggy? You tell us. You got something you want to add to this here? Storyline, you just let me know and I'm gonna report it because I do feel like Iggy got some type of insight. You know, some type of temperature thing over here on my screen, but it's still recording so. But yeah, I, I feel like Iggy could have some insight. Her and T.I. aren't on the best terms, so spill it, T.I. So Try this again, and if it cut off again, we're going to have to switch to my phone. Because I'm over it. I got my tablet right here. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try to pull up some of... Uh, Pull up the feed here in case I got to switch to my phone. But yeah, like I said, I just feel like he would. <laughs> Period, boo. When we're friends, you better keep my business to yourself. And if we fall out, you better let what you know about my business die right along with you. Period. Because I feel like that was a message to Shekinah. Because she, she should just, she should just, shh. And that, and that really was where the attraction picked up, right? Because Shekinah was like. The reason why Old Girl Sabrina was so mad was because 
she used to be right in a little threesome with all of them. Like, saying she was recruiting. And that word recruiting implies that they've been doing this. Like, this has been going on and they got people on the outside helping them. Just like R. Kelly. They use that word too in his documentary that, you know, girls were with clean. He had a type. And all that. She kind of, she, she really should have just shut this one out. Shh. Set this one out, y'all. Excuse me. I had a lot to drink, okay? <clears throat> okay. This is what I get to when I'm talking about the money. So, somebody said, Sabrina, please be careful. You aren't lying about that man or Tiny. I know because my friend used to strip and fly here from time to time. Tia and Tiny were her regulars. One day I went to their house and he wouldn't let me in unless I took an X pill. So, he gave my friend and I a pill and soda. We spit it back in the cellars and pretended to take them. We all had sex, but Tiny invited Blank Rapper over and a couple of other celebrities. He paid us a piece and I never went back. Oh, he paid us 3000 a piece and I never went back. He becomes a different person during sex and Tony is the leader. It's weird. It's supposed to be the devil. So again, other people is involved. What of celebrity was their sus? Just go, if we spilling the tea, right? If we're getting tea on Tiny in trouble, we might as well get them all in trouble. Because, baby, one thing I know for certain was when my sister was finna get a whooping, we all was finna get a whooping because she's snitching on everybody. Whether well, it has to do with her whooping or not, baby, she's spilling the tea on everybody. So just go ahead and drop the celebrities' names. So it's just add a little sprinkle to the fire. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this one, this one is detailed. In 2016, during CIA, CIAA in Charlotte, I went to their suite at the Ritz. And they, like everyone's phones up, passed around Molly Puck and said the only people who could say had to take their pants off. Huh? <laughs> I was so lucky because my homeboy Troy was there, part of, part of Tip's entourage. And he pulled me into another room to smoke and told me to like, she good, meaning don't bother her. I watched him drag girls back and forth from the bedroom to the bathroom to the living room. One girl was crying because she wanted to leave, but they refused to give her her phone to call an Uber. At one point, he came out of the room and asked his security to come pick this bitch up off the bed because the girl was too fucked up to even walk. They carried her from the bedroom to the bathtub and left her there. I snuck in the bathroom to make sure the girl was okay and she was almost unconscious. I'm a nurse, so I checked her pulse. Uh, she, which, she was, which was barely there and she was sweating and shivering. I left that night five years ago and it still haunts me to this day, wondering what happened to those girls and if I could have done anything to stop it. Or help them. He is an absolute monster who uses money and power to manipulate people. Now her story is quite different, right? Because she said she knew somebody a part of the entourage. Right? The majority of the girls who, who's telling their story says like they met them randomly at a strip club or through a friend. But she actually knew somebody who works for him. So, sis, if you knew somebody who worked for him, I'm pretty sure they would have told you. And why would he invite you there? Why would he invite you there? Because, regardless if I'm employed by somebody or not, baby, I'm still a beans. I'm going to keep that name out the mouth. I don't know. And you can kind of imply who I'm talking about from about the context I give, but... Yes, yeah, sis, your friend should have had you there. And that's just that simple.
somebody and somebody do the research. Who is Tony? Did he ever work for Ti? Somebody do that. I don't got time to Google this. Okay. And it's the constant introduction to drugs for me. <laughs> it says I like to keep my face and name from being publicly published, and I'll be real vague. But I had a run-in with Ti. He asked if he could put coke on the tip of his penis and then have sex with me the answer was no because i don't do drugs there were products of every drug you can name around along with pills and glass containers we had sex his penis has a curve <laughs> okay his penis has a curve it was nothing to shout about this is right before he and tiny got caught with crystal in la it's sad how people with money and privilege think they're a god Okay, this is what I've been looking for. Okay, she gave an identifying factor, honey. She said his hoo-ha has a curve. I don't know how many of y'all done been around here, but Tiny, go ahead and let us know if his hoo-ha got a curve. Maybe it might happen a week before. I don't know. But... You know, I have been to the Trap Museum. And like I said before, do I think or did I think they do drugs? Absolutely. All around the Trap Museum aids to his, I'm going to say, former lifestyle as a trapper. So, you know, a lot of people can sell drugs without doing that. Apparently, he was not one of those people. If you've ever been to the Trap Museum, it's like drugs, coke, weed, baggies, all type of replicas all over the place. Money, guns, all over the place. All over the place. So, is it unbelievable that they had people out here doing coke and molly? No. No. Not at all. But, so this gave us an identifying factor. What else? There was something else in there. Oh, and she said he asked to have sex with her and put coke on the tip. What? I'm confused by that. That sound like a yeast infection call. That's what that sound like. Mm hmm And I feel like some of them... I'm going to keep all comments to myself. I am overwhelmed by what I am reading. It's sick. T.I. also does this without Smeek. I've done both. But yeah, he is totally different person. Not under her spell. Strangers and understanding the amount of drugs is absurd. The prey on the young literally feeds you drugs instead of food. But Tiny enjoys him mistreating women. Gives her some kind of power. For being insecure, I never felt so close to the devil. It was so bad. I literally snuck out while they were asleep. You the ages very some girls younger than their kids. I'm glad you're doing this. She said this was in 2017. She said, oh, G, you're super strong for this. Back in 2013, 14, I used to chill with Tip and Tiny. They had this guy, Brandon, who was always around. He was weird to me, but I never said nor did anything about it. One day, Tiny hit me up, which was weird because usually it was Tip. She asked me to come over and to bring overnight clothes. I went and then immediately started having me drink. Like, I barely could even sit myself down through the door. I felt weird out instantly. They pay me every time I tried to just act normal until Brendan bought me this pill. And he was like, you looking nervous today. Take this. I hesitated and Tiny said, don't be the party pooper. We all having fun. I took it the next day. I woke up with my bra on, no panties. With the sock, with one sock on, Tip and Tiny were nowhere in sight. And I was laying on the couch. My butt hurt it so bad. So this is a rape allegation. Plain and simple. This is, this is a rape allegation. Now... From context clues, I would say she's accusing whoever Brandon is a rape, but she could be accusing all three of them. Yeah, she could be accusing all three of them. But from what I'm gathering, I think she's accusing Brandon, whoever Brandon is. I could be wrong. But... Let 
let's just continue. Um, I knew she said my vagina hurt her so bad that I knew something happened. They wouldn't let me talk to them over the phone or text about our hookups. And I never saw them that morning, so I just left. Maybe three years later, I get a call from a problem number that's tip. He says, pull up. And the one not reason I pulled up was because I wanted to ask him in person what happened last time. Because honestly, I've had sex with them five times before, so I didn't understand the purpose of drugging me and being sneaky. Come to find out. My suspicions were correct, honey. And I didn't even read the story. Look at me. Somebody crown me. No, I'm just like, this ain't fun. It ain't fun. Um, come to find out it was Brandon effing me that night. Tip told him to have fun with me. After that night, I never spoke to them again and they never hit me back. They did threaten me about talking. But I was so embarrassed I would have never told that story to anyone. Um, anyways, I'm glad someone is finally speaking out because they are worse than R. Kelly. Ooh, worse than R. Kelly, shall we say. Now, these allegations, I will say they, they do. Um, let's compare the two, shall we? Now, R. Kelly's victim said he made them call them names. We'll take away their privileges, lock them up. No contact to their family. Contact to the outside world, basically. Like, it was him or nothing. This more sounds like a... Sex with me and my wife. Be a little play toy. We pay you type of scenario. I don't think they are lighting the same candle. That's just me, though. Whatever floats your boat. Um, ooh, this one's graphic. I don't know if I should share this. She talking about bruised vagina. That's unprotected sex. And he gave her an STD. Now, there are a few allegations of STD and I feel like this is one thing that's super easy to resolve just like when Usher had a claim on STD just take the test if you got it from him and it's incurable as you say he has it too so just take the test and post the results easy to clear up very easy but do it on live so you know you can't fabricate the results because there are ways i watch a lot of tv shows i know there are ways dang it they said to you as a predator he preys on young females there are also couples in vegas who have the same story now i've been to vegas and honey Vegas is not for the faint heart. I'm going to just say that. Can you have him contact me? And do you have an email for our attorney? I'm going to make a new email. Since my email is my Instagram handle. I'll try. Everyone is embarrassed to be young. To be so young with STD. I'm surprised no one else has come forward. There are females I've met recently. This just sounds like. know this Sabrina lady but this just sounds like you know if it is true good for her bring them to to light let them hold the same candle as R. Kelly and all them but again my mind just goes back to the fact that they got kids they have like a three-year-old daughter and if they both go to jail like how devastating would that be to this little girl because R. Kelly is likely never getting out. Bill Cosby is never getting out. Now the white ones, they get to walk around free. Or do whatever they do. But black people who face these allegations, it's over with for them. And I'm sure already people online like Mr. Clifford, Miss Harris, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to suspend this deal because the heat that you're getting right now, we just can't take it until until this thing clears up. And then I feel like somewhere in the back of my mind is like Jada here. Let's sit down and have a conversation on the red table. We can bring it back to the table just like last time. I don't know why. I just feel like it's gonna come to the red table talk again. Just, just my suspicions. If I'm right, y'all owe me five dollars a piece. Okay. <sighs> there are two girls for sure that work or used to work at Magic. He gave them the same duties to. Um, they approached him about it. He played dumb. Mm. Back in 2017, I was new to stripping and I had started very early. I had just turned 18 and it was my first time dancing in Atlanta with one of my friends. They came to Foley's and I was chosen to be in TDI section. See, I tiny took a liking to me and they threw money and before they left, she asked if I wanted to dance at a private party. I said yes because I was young and naive and they were famous, of course. They had chose my friend to be in the section, but I told her I come with my friend and asked if she could come and she said it was invite only my friend told me to just be safe and meet her back at the hotel afterwards because it was a rare occasion i had no car at the time so i took an uber um before i could even enter they confiscated my phone and then they forced me to take an ice pill to loosen up i saw about four different girls that looked completely out of it and shut down on on the couch and one in the bathroom hanging over the tub like she was gonna throw up where I was thought I was getting dressed I was trying to get in and out before I actually kicked it until shortly after I realized it wasn't a real private party they were having trying to have an orgy Tiny was doing coke and told me to do a line and when I said no she asked if I disrespect her if this bee thinks she too good but she's here just like the rest of these bees I was so scared and was forced to do a line and that's when I asked if I don't know what she said she was asked to do. I said that I was uncomfortable and I didn't I don't sell sex for money and bags to leave. Tiny got really aggressive and tried to fight me saying I was acting too good when I wanted F her man just like the rest of these bees. I was so scared and just did everything T.I. told me to do to him. It seems like Tiny would enable him but also get jealous. I ended up blacking out and not remembering much of what happened except walking up waking up in the bathroom with vomit on me my B and anal area wasn't so much pain, so I knew they were doing things to me when I was black. This man grabbed my arm and told me to get the F up, take my S, and get out. I was too scared. I didn't even tell my friend what happened until almost a week later. Please hide my identity. <sighs> um. Then yeah, somebody said unprotected sex. Somebody said he paid them one thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars. They take your phone. I left a wet some marks on my body. He talks to you crazy too. And when Tiny is around, he has a lady picking up girls. I know this isn't the story of being a victim years ago. Mary were doing their vlogs. I was invited to Miami. Somebody said they asked him to go get drugs. He ain't ever get paid for it. I used to work at Girl Rush in Atlanta and strip clubs. They always had Wednesday night parties and her and she kind of would be there picking up girls for threesomes. Ooh! That's thesis because she kind of said it was Sabrina who was going out there picking up girls. So, she kind of, you involved too? Because she made that Instagram crying and talk about, I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm here to leave my day. But girl, homegirl right here just said you, you, you with it as well. Um, this one girl posted a screenshot of T.I. and her DMs. I'm gonna look. This, does this say 2018? I think it says 2018. Um, I think this is a 2018 DM, but I can't, um, I can't really tell. But yeah, this is, this is just, this is just my thing.
I think I'm done reading the stories. I'm finna wrap this joker up. This is probably like an hour video. But it's okay. Make sure, make sure y'all give me my watch time on this video, okay? Because I sat here and I drunk it all and read it all and listened to just about everything. Um and this is my conclusion, right? They say T I is abusive. I wouldn't put it past no man to be abusive. They all gotta do. Like it just takes one rare moment or one ounce of whatever it is, ego turn, blah blah, I don't know, to make them turn. So could he be abusive? Absolutely. Absolutely. He could be. Is he? I have no clue. If I'm going off based off what some of these stories say, then yes, he is. But me personally, I don't know him. I don't know. Um, and going to school for law, you know, you have to trust the facts and the evidence. And if any of this was to go to court, those DMs, hearsay. Automatically. All of that's hearsay. It's all hearsay. So, again, take it with a grain of salt. Um, now... Could it be brought into court to prove a matter? Yeah, there's always exceptions to the rules, but right now those are categorized as hearsay, okay? You don't know what hearsay means? I'm going to give you the legal, sophisticated, and simple answer. Anything said outside of court used to be asserted for the truth of the matter, sir, okay? And I might have said that a little bit wrong, but you know, you get the gist. Anything said outside of court is hearsay. My coaches used to drill that into our mind so much. So, baby, if I don't know no other rule, I know hearsay. But, yeah. Another accusation is that Tiny, basically, it's kind of like the cult leader or ring leader or the enabler of it all. Would I think this is believable? Yes. She, his wife. And at the end of the day, if he goes down, she goes down. Do I feel like there's some type of insecurity there? Yes. Because society has always made fun of their relationship. Nobody has ever known for certain why he chose to be with her. Um, when he could have anybody. Like, you know, people just don't think she's pretty. I don't think she's ugly. But she, she ain't, I don't know. There's better. There's always better. There's better than me. Hell, there's better than the best. Whatever. So do I think she probably enables him or cares to him in a way that's probably unhealthy? Yes. Has he probably abused her at some point in the past? I don't know. I'm not speaking on that. As far as the allegation... Do I believe there are 35 women that they have sexually assaulted or taken advantage of? Hell no. I feel like that number is more closer to... And the fact that there even is a number, it's a problem. But if I had to choose a number, I would say about the 60 women probably now at this point who's accusing them of doing something. I would probably say that number is about close to mm, 8, 10. Not that high. Like, sorry, not. Because in most of those stories, they all say it was consensual. Majority of those stories was consensual. What they didn't like was the fact that the way they talked to them, basically. It's what I'm getting at. They didn't like the way they were treated after the act. And what I got to say to that is, sweetie, if you thought you was finna go over there and get a good time and T.I. finna make you his mistress, like you thought wrong. And maybe your feelings was hurt. And maybe you should admit that your feelings was hurt. And just leave like, it. Like, you don't have to accuse this man 
because he can get they both can get in serious trouble for these allegations like R. Kelly stuff started on social Bill media. Cosby stuff started on social media and look at where they at now like they both can get in a lot of trouble and I know a lot of people been on the shade room all day y'all ain't commenting y'all ain't commenting and I seen they post um they respond to somebody like you know these are serious accusations and if we can't confirm the validity of these rumors like we're not going to post about it until that T.I. and Ta'i issued their denial of the allegations or whatever. So yeah, do I feel like they probably had sexual relations with all these women? Absolutely. Like yeah, they probably they probably do have like that swinger thing going on every weekend, every other day. Whatever. That's their business. And as long as it's consensual and nobody is taking advantage of I really don't feel like those stories should even be on the table because at the end of the day you signed up to go there you know exactly what you was getting into you know exactly who they are you took the money and you left I don't see the issue in that maybe you got your feelings hurt that they may, may have never called you again or you ain't get the, the recognition you felt like you deserve from sleeping with him. I don't, I don't know. But I just don't feel like those stories should be on the table as far as confirming or denying the rumors. And so overall, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not for me to judge. Whether they did all this crazy stuff or not. Do I think that some things are true because they said they did the drugs. Molly Coke, XC, whatever. Yes, they probably did all those drugs. Like I said, they were in their prime of their lives. They're celebrities. Somebody said celebrities feel like they're a god. And there's some truth to that. Like a lot of them feel like they're above the standard person and they, they can't be touched. But here lately baby the law has a way of humbling each and every single one of them and I just I don't necessarily like consider myself like a a T.I. or a tiny fan but I do feel like you know if they're going to go to jail for this like it should be for the ones that didn't have a choice or were underage or just not the ones that was consensual because like i said they have a family they have a daughter they have kids and some of them other people probably had kids have families and if this was happening to your family like you won't want that like you you who wants that like zonique could probably be in a deep fit right now because although he's not her dad like he's always raised her like a dad from my understanding and she just had a baby like Freshly just had a baby. And this is just... The, I hope for everybody to say that, you know, the rumors aren't true. As simple as that. I hope for T.I. Tiny, but mainly for their kids' sake, that this is all just one big lie, story of the week, story of the month. Do the lie detector test. You ain't got nothing to hide. Do the test. Now... I will say, tests can be altered, tests can be maneuvered, tests can do whatever you want a test to do. So don't just be like, oh, he passed the test, so he must do something to treat. Like, there's ways to slow your heart rate, convince your mind and your brain that you know you're actually telling the truth. Um, and if some of these girls, if it happened like some of them say they happened, yeah, they probably don't even remember these people. Cause right, they were so drunk. But what y'all think? What what do you think is the truth? Let me know in the comments. Again, I'm on second thoughts. Let me know if you feel like I victim shame because that was not my intention. As I'll say it again. I don't want to victim shame nobody. I've, I know too many people who've 
been forced to do things against their will and I would never victim shame. Like if you have enough courage to come share your story, share your story. But victim shaming that's unnecessary and I hope I didn't victim shame anyone. Um that was not my attention. I I'm trying to remember. I don't think I did. I think I may have, you know, had some questions, some follow up questions to some of their stories, but I don't think I just necessarily said like, no, you you lie, lie. Like, no, I don't think I did that. Um, uh, but yeah. So I'm gonna end this video now. Like I said, it's probably gonna be long. I'm not gonna edit anything out. I'm gonna give you my raw, authentic version. Um of this <sighs> this is a lot to take in and yeah if you if you like this chit chat don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment i want to have a conversation with you i try to respond to everybody's comments when my notifications comes through but yeah i want this to be an open discussion so let me know what you think um and until next time.